Welcome Geminis. I'm back you guys with another video. All right, so this is going to be for April, April 2021. It is going to be a general read, so it may or may not resonate with y'all. So if this happens to resonate, all the better. <laughs> Go ahead and click the like button and the share button to share with your family and your friends, as well as comment below. Let me know what's going on, all right? So, Geminis, let's see what we got going on for the month of April. What messages do we have for the Gemini? For Gemini, for the month of April, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, okay? What's going on? What messages do we have for Geminis? Gemini, please, give me a message for Geminis. me a message for Gemini's. All right, we're going to stop it right here. All right, so at the bottom, we have the Eight of Swords. All right, so behind that, we got the Ace of Pentacles. All right, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. So some of y'all could be really thinking about your coin, really thinking about bettering yourself, really thinking about a new opportunity, a, a way to... Um, just level up. I'm getting a level up. I'm really seeing that, hearing that, feeling it. Like, y'all are thinking about progression. All right, so we got the five of wands, the three of swords, strength, and six of wands. There's a battle here of... <laughs> Who's the toughest? Who's the... <laughs> there is like a little bit of a rationalist, a, a little bit of a rational energy here as well. I'm getting like y'all are real, real feisty at this point in time. Possibly over a breakup, okay? Possibly over something that hurt you. I mean, this is just the reaction that they are getting. Like, this is the back end that they are getting. They are getting the uh, the other side to the Gemini. Okay, so the Five of Wands here lets me know that there is some conflict, okay? Someone is, you guys, focus is on winning this battle. For some, this is a battle of, like I said, confidence, of who got, who has the biggest whatever. <laughs> For a lot, it is the ego. Um, but let's see. I want to see. I feel like there's been like a nasty breakup of some sort. Why is the five of wands here? Page of pentacles, yeah. Somebody real deal is talking some BS right now. Like... <laughs> Somebody is talking they mess. Like, it is what it is. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is also talks about emotions. Okay, I feel like... Um, tell me more about Three of Swords. Let's see. I need to know more about this Three of Swords first. Tell me about this Three of Swords energy, please, here. King of Swords. Woo! Somebody got cut off. Okay, there was a breakup and it was a tough one. Okay, it was a tough one. It was a tough one. Woo! I feel like some of y'all are making somebody regret that they ever, that they did you a certain way. Okay, somebody tried you. Somebody tried you. What's the King of Swords? We got the Five of Swords. Woo! Yeah, this was a this was some betrayal. Somebody got somebody was being real petty after a breakup here. All right, I don't know if it's y'all or is it somebody, but we got the Six of Swords and the Lovers. Okay, so somebody may have got you know decided to walk away from a, a relationship. Gemini is you guys' this energy, but this is also about a connection, a lover, um, and also a decision. So somebody could be making a decision to walk away or didn't have any other choice but to walk away because somebody betrayed the hell out of them. Could be a Leo with the strength card here. Tell me more about the strength card. Tell 
the tower. See, yeah. It's like the nerve of you. Y'all are hot about something. The tower. Tell me why, tell me more about this tower. This came as a surprise. Page of Cups, yeah. This came as a surprise. The Magician. Ooh, somebody throwing shots. Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, Eight of Wands. I'm hearing stop, stop uh, throwing shots. I'm hearing also somebody could be spying on somebody as well. Like, I'm feeling like this is a real messy. This is real messy. Six of Cups. The Ten of Wands is back here in the past. So, this situation was very burdensome. It came with a lot of baggage. Okay, like you feel overwhelmed by this situation. Some of y'all uh, have decided to drop this situation and find you some some find a new circle to be around and new new friends, new social life. Um, I'm getting like some of y'all have dropped. Yeah, some of y'all have found someone new. Look at this, the emperor and the empress right here. Somebody that's more suitable for you. But I still feel like somebody here is still, I feel like some of y'all are still kind of in this energy of, I feel like y'all are pissed about a situation. I feel like a lot of y'all have been getting a lot of attention since you walked away from this person or vice versa or somebody else has been getting a lot of attention. Um, someone could be pretending like they're happy when they're really when they really aren't. Somebody's wondering if somebody um, is getting attention from someone else. They're spying going on. Like I said, for future energy, we got the devil. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. Definitely a Capricorn. But I'm getting that um, there is an offer coming in. It's, it's taking a while, but some type of offer is coming in. Okay. Nine of Cups. Possibly from a King of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Aries. This could be a, a offer of something uh, sexual. Okay, with the King of Wands, we know that he's very passionate. It could be a very passionate moment, but especially with that Devil card, there's kind of giving me like sex vibes. Okay, so tell me more about this Nine of Cups. Six of Swords. Yeah, see somebody, this person, you or this person wants forgiveness i'm getting somebody wants forgiveness here somebody wants forgiveness somebody wants to move on and start fresh why is the ace of wands here two of wands and the nine of swords okay somebody here is all in their head i feel like you guys are all in your head y'all are in your head so much seven of pentacles is here for your energy you're waiting for this person to respond to you or reach out to you you're waiting to hear from this person so you and this person may not be in communication with each other the four of wands mm. some of y'all could have kicked this person out moved away but i'm getting somebody is very uncomfortable or it's uh could possibly be going through a financial hardship or just feel lonely, okay, or rejected. A marriage could be involved. You could be waiting for this person to come to you, um, looking for some type of stability. Maybe you provide this person with some type of stability. This person over here is unhappy as hell. We got the four of cups, they aren't happy at all. Look at their energy. This is their energy. They're very disappointed. They feel like they missed the opportunity. They're bored. They aren't happy. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Knight of Cups. <sighs> They're over here worried that you were, are going to reject an offer. Reject their offer, their cup of love. 
So it looks like this person wants to return. In your hopes and fears, we got the Seven of Cups and the Chariot. It's like... Ooh. Oh. Wow. You fear that... Uh, this is just in the hopes and fears, okay? Maybe you fear that this person is out doing the most, right? With the moon and the Seven of Swords and the King of Wands here. Maybe you're fearing that someone could get possibly get pregnant. Maybe you fear that some that they're having unprotected sex. I do see a pregnancy here. This is in the hopes and fears. The sun and the empress is definitely like could symbol or signal a pregnancy. The nine of wands. This is protection. Okay. This is guarded energy. Or this is something that somebody heard. Or you fear hearing that. You know, you fear hearing those words like, you know, that someone could be pregnant or something like that. But for sure, for sure, I'm getting like, I feel like that could be a fear. Like just hearing that. Tell me more about this outcome with the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is irrational. The lovers, you guys, this energy. This is a very, very wild, free, young type of a uh, love thing here, okay? <laughs> Tell me more about the lovers. Page of Swords, yeah. I feel like you're spying. Either you're spying or they're spying. Uh, I feel like things are just out of control right now. Like, it's really wild. I'm not going to say out of control, but it's just really wild. Like, it's a, like an on again, off again thing. It's like you, you run back, then you leave, okay? On again, off again. There we go. On again, off again, okay? And I feel like right now, this is where this situation is at. The Ace of Swords, yeah. Yeah, somebody's calling, trying to uh, ask for a second chance. Somebody wants a second chance. Yeah. I feel like this person wants a second chance with you, but be be mindful that there are a lot of secrets here. The high priestess and the moon. There could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio involved. Definitely Pisces with that high priestess and the moon. But I do feel like there is somebody's running back. Either you're running back to somebody, giving somebody a second chance, or they're running back to you. Somebody wants forgiveness. Um, there was like a, a, a temporary, looks like a temporary break, or somebody hurt someone's feelings or something in that nature, or there possibly was a third party involved. I didn't really, that really didn't come out too much. This talks about a, a situation in particular, but I'm getting like somebody's running back. Somebody's running back. All right, so you guys let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I will chat with y'all later. Be sure, guys, to check out my website. I got a lot of new products over there on the website, guys. Um, that information is in the drop box below as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share. And if you're interested in booking a personal, guys, all of that information is in the drop box below, okay? I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.